the camera. Hi there, this is Tamara Doris, your Sacramento real estate professional with her assistant, the short sale schnauzer. Try and say that five times really fast. Short sale schnauzer. Don't look at me, it freaks me out. Anyway, I want to have a, a, just a really quick second here and explain something to you. If you're in the middle of a short sale and I ask you for your bank statements, and I will every month because the lender wants to see your bank statements every month. They want to make sure that you don't have a whole bunch of money that you're hiding, right? That your income is consistent with your hardship letter, etc. Okay, so here's your average bank statement, right? Now let's just say the last page is like this, right? You would think that it wouldn't matter but wrong because see what happens is on the beginning of the page of each bank statement it tells you page one of four or whatever it is even if that last page is blank who knows why the banks want to waste all those trees I have no clue but the fact is that most of them do and so you're gonna often get a blank bank statement page you still need to send that to me your bank still wants to see that they want to make sure that there's not some you know huge deposit that was made on that page so they want you to send them blank pages further convincing me that we just continue to waste more and more money. Anyway, that's just a word I put out there because I've had a couple of deals almost fall through the cracks where a home went into foreclosure because the bank didn't get that blank statement, that blank page. So make sure that when your realtor asks you for a bank statement, you include all the pages. So for today, Tamara Doris and Missy the Short Sale Schnauzer Specialist at 916-482-5834. Call us if you have any questions. We're happy to help you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.